Yo. Hey, uh, recently today, um, a few uh, people had commented asking about, like, my, ever since I had transferred to Knife A, I'm about to get opened on, and I hope he's here, he's not here, fuck. Anyways, <clears throat> people were asking me about my Knife A um, pathing and whatnot, and I just wanted to show you guys what I think is going to be the best, personally. Um, so some people have been going this right for rbgs i don't think it's worth because it's a 10 minute cooldown man like i and people can kill it especially when there's like a lot of people so i don't think it's worth at all this is okay because you get increased damage right but i mean these these traits right here they're just not good like no weapon like what like it's just not good okay um so i've been going this okay and i need a better one of this but i think this is worth because it increases your damage and then I go this trait because when I soul shape, I get the increased uh, region, which I think is better than um, just reduced time, like a reduced cooldown. I think having the ability to heal is way better, um, especially if you're trying to get away from people and whatnot. Um, I also like to go rush setup because the energy reduce on kidney and cheap shot are like super huge. And I also use distract quite a bit. so. I feel like that's pretty uh, pretty big to have. And I also go Swift Patrol because the movement speed, like your like your presence around the map is increased because of how quickly you're able to move across the map and whatnot. Um, this is a must, right? This shield right here is a must. You need to get this if you do not have this. Okay, if you have dots on you, it puts a shield on you for 5,800. Well, at least mine does because that's how strong it is and so like let's say you have a bunch of dot bunch of dots on you you need to get that because you won't come out of stealth until 5800 damage is done right um so i haven't looked too much into this but i do like going this trait because of the kick and cloak right i think it's pretty beneficial please don't open up on me man i'm not ready for this um I'm doing this right now, but once I get down to this tree, I might switch over to this one, right? Because of the damage increase. It depends on how much damage it does, right? Um, but this might also be good because it does... Oh my god. Hold on guys, this shit just got interesting. <clears throat> Fall off your mount dude, I swear on everything. Let me invite my buddy, shit just got interesting. I don't have trinket, I don't have cloak, I don't have vanish, right? So I need to be staying in stealth. Because if I open, my only getaway at this point is to duel somebody. I just need to keep running. I don't have anything.
Alright, so I have cooldowns, but I don't have dance back. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mark for death, slice and dice, so that I can try and get a uh, a dance back. Cause if I get a dance back, I can shit on this guy. I'm gonna try and kill this guy before I vanish. Vanish him. I step him. <clears throat> I need to do the same exact thing, right? So I'm gonna slice some dice now, um, so I can get some some of my dance back. And I, like this guy over here, I'm not gonna let him get that off. But I'm gonna slice some dice anyways. Um, I don't want to open up without mark for death, but I need to get slice and dice going so that I can get my mar my dances back, which is super beneficial. So I don't I need to duel this guy. I guess six isn't enough, dude. <clears throat> six isn't enough. Just like that, dude. That's why you need to go knife A, okay? Cloaked in Shadows is BIS, okay? This is good, but not sure yet. But this is also BIS. Increased damage is BIS. That's fucking. Right there is a point case, dude. Make sure you guys run those. Make sure you guys get those conduits. Thank you guys very much for watching, and y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you.